in terms of League One and stepping up this season, do you yeah. expect it to suit certain other players differently than it would have done in League Two last year? Do you think about some better characteristics? Um, you, you, you've we've we've already started watching League One games to get a better understanding of it and what's required, and the quality on show is there for all to see. So you know we know that we're going to have to step up in quality, but like you just said, there we've got some lads that can go out and perform and you know, hopefully embrace the stage that they're going to be performing in this year. You always like to be thorough in the detail when you came here last year. You rang a lot of managers who've been yeah. successful in League Two to get a background. Is that something that's similar you've done Yeah, I've done year? that. Yeah, no, we've done that. Um, spoke to quite a few of them already and just sort of like asked about what um, what to expect. Um, and so, you know, we, they, we will put that into place on the training ground and... and we can't wait for the first game at Bradford. You know what a fantastic opening fixture. Nearly got promoted to the championship, um, but you know there's going to be a hell of a crowd there, and it's the opening game day, day, game of the season. Sorry, and uh, you know we can't wait. I imagine quite a bit of your recruitment structured on you know the different formations you could play last season. You, you know you came yeah. here being a traditional four. Yeah, yeah, one, didn't yeah. You? But, Obviously changed last year. I, I really enjoyed that for myself, for my own uh, learning and developing, uh, playing different formations. And uh, I think, again, it would be something that we will have to do this season. I think we've got to be flexible, and that's um, been reflected in the people that we've brought in so far. Obviously, recruitment with players, it just not there. You've had recruitment off the pitch as well. Yes, we're delighted that we've been able to bring Terry McPhillips in as Chief Scout. Um, he, he worked with me at Blackburn as the assistant manager. Uh, but you know he he loves he, he loves going to games he loves watching the games and you know he's hit the ground running already for us it was a big influence with with getting Ollie Turton in uh, and Max Clayton so you know he's made an impact already and he will do it for the rest of the season. Important to have that trust and, and knowledge. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. Uh, Terry has got fantastic knowledge of players. You know. He, he, he he sees a player and he sees the potential in the player and um, you know he's got an unbelievable work ethic and um, you know he's a great addition to this club. Yeah, obviously it's a more sort of settled squad as well, isn't it, in comparison to obviously previous seasons with Blackpool. Have a base to start from in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we're still you know we're still working hard to recruit and bring in some, but um, you know it, it's um, it's certainly give us like you say we've still got players that we've got from last season. Obviously you're still plotting out in your mind how you evolve this side and keep pushing it forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. What do you think are going to be the main improvements that you need to sort of make at, at this level now with some of the teams and budgets you can in? Well, uh, it's a competitive league. You know, we're not going to be anywhere near um, in terms of what we can compete with salary-wise and, and budget-wise. Um, but, you know, we're working hard to try and get players that we can fit within our structure that we've got set up here. Um, that are, you know, like I say, hungry uh, with the desire to improve, and that that's the big thing for me this year. It's all about continuous improvement from last season and uh, working very hard with the players again to make them even better. You touched on that first fixture a moment ago. In terms yeah. of the fixture in general, it's good to map out where you're going to be and when you can prepare around. Well, I think first and foremost, there's a hell of a lot of teams uh, local, so that helps. Um, but yeah, I think um, you look at the fixtures and. There's not going to be an easy fixture, just like any other season. And uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we we do all our work in pre-season so that we're ready for the start of the campaign, and then be as full as what we were last season. And that spirit that we created, you know, integrate the new players as quickly as possible, possible, and uh, and get cracking.